Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home Lift every voice and sing Until earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies of liberty Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies Let it resound loud as a rolling sea Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun. Let us march on till victory is won. Good evening to the West Seattle community, friends and family alike. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Nathan Morgan and I am the overall Associated Student Body President as well as a fellow graduating senior here at West Seattle High School. Before we continue, I want to take a moment and thank you all for being here. We currently live in an uncertain time that has involved a lot of changes, but I've seen you all take that in stride and that hasn't gone unnoticed. I never imagined picking up our caps and gowns in the middle of the school parking lot saying goodbye to teachers that I feel like we haven't seen in ages, and I never imagined that we'd be graduating this way, that is, virtually. But regardless, tonight isn't about the unforeseeable. Instead, tonight is about us. It is about a time to celebrate the positives, including all our accomplishments, our memories, and the bonds we created, both inside and outside of high school. Whether you've attended West Seattle High School for all four years, or simply just one, you've become an integral part of the West Seattle community. To the West Seattle High School staff, I want to thank you all for what you have done for us. I've had the privilege to connect with you all in so many positive ways that I will carry with me forever. I got to know some of you my freshman year and some of you I more recently connected with, but no matter when we met, there will always come a time when we must say goodbye. Unfortunately for all of us, this is now that time. However, parting ways does not have to mean goodbye. I've watched the impact that you've had on all of our lives and it has been tremendous. From you all, we have learned what it means to be a leader, a student, a mentor, and a friend. You have taught us what it really means to be a wildcat, and for that I thank you. I also want to acknowledge how all of you have stepped up during this time, and it means so much. We have seen the hard work and effort that you have put into online learning, learning and it is appreciated. And lastly, I especially want to thank all of you who showed up and supported us at Cabin and Gown Pickup. You made that moment even more special to us. Thank you for the memories. To the West Seattle High School parents and guardians, whether your kids are off to the workforce, college, military, taking a gap year, or anything in between, there comes a moment when you realize that we are growing up. For some of you, this may be that moment. However, we would never have arrived at this moment without you all. Thank you for your constant support over the years, whether it was driving us to our sports games, 
giving us words for encouragement before our big test, or pushing us to achieve more. We appreciate it. Although graduation is about celebrating graduating seniors, it would not have been the same without your support and presence. And finally, to the West Seattle High School graduating seniors. High school is filled with unwritten rites of passages. From getting lost in the school building, unable to locate the science wing, sneaking off campus to head to Nico's, seeing the production of a school play such as Bonnie and Clyde come to life, or dancing at Gloco, the dance to end all homecomings, attending football games, eating cup of noodles in the stands while chanting Wildcats are red hot, watching our basketball teams play in the playoffs, making it to the dome, and circling the West Seattle parking lot for what seems like hours searching for a par parking spot. Looking back, it is truly amazing how far we've come and how much more further we'll go. One minute we're freshmen walking to the gym bright and early on a Wednesday morning, being greeted by what seems like hundreds of people, staff, link leaders, and freshmen alike. And then the next we're stuck in our homes with senior year fleeing before our eyes. Our class is one of the strongest classes the West Seattle High School has ever seen. Starting the beginning of the year, we had the highest number of seniors on track to graduate, and we were among the most competitive academically. Despite all the setbacks we have faced over the years, we have prevailed and we are stronger than ever. We are one of the most socially aware and vocal classes the West Seattle High School has ever seen. Our class motto is what feels like the end is often the beginning, and we chose that because we believed it best re represented our story. Looking into the future, we will be the class to change the world. But changing the world starts yesterday. As we stand in our cap and gowns, it may feel like the end, but I invite you to remember that when one chapter ends, another chapter will always follow. This may feel like the end of this chapter, but our story is far from over. Continue to speak up and fight for your beliefs. Practice active listening, active communication, and active acts of compassion, and help propel our world into the future. What we start to build now will impact generations to come, and I urge you all to vote in our upcoming elections. Whether it's local, statewide, or national, they all matter. It does not matter who you are, where you're from, what you've learned, or what you believe in. Get out and vote, and let's start building the future of tomorrow. What we've, well, we've heard it before, and we'll hear it again. 2020 will be a year to remember and a year that will go down in history, and we sure as heck are gonna make it one interesting chapter to read. Thank you for listening and joining me in celebrating the West Seattle High School graduating class of 2020. Congratulations, today is your day. Not quite how we planned it, but it turned out okay. Tu as une bonne tête. Tu as des pieds sur la pelouse. You can steer your ship across any ocean you choose. Now you're the boss and you know what you know. You decide where you want to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. But about some, you might say, I don't choose to go there. With your hand sanitized and a mask on your face, you'll know when you found yourself in a safe place. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. And it's opener there in the wide open air. There's more math to do and more room for error. But with calc skills in geo, forge on without terror. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. And remember what you just heard from Mrs. Depew. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. If you lag behind, we can help if you need. The flower won't bloom unless you water the seed. Whatever the format, you can pass the test. You can be proud knowing that you've done your best. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. Reality is out there. You'll have to face it. Climate change, racism, work to erase it. It's not always easy out there on your own. When friends become distant, when you're far from home. You can sit on your own and lean into the sad. Don't bypass emotions when you're feeling bad. And when you're in a slump, remember the good times. Or open this file and read over these rhymes. You may feel life's a maze with no easy way out. Pound your fists on the wall, then holler and shout. The more that you panic, the more you feel lost. Flowers once blossoming covered with frost. Can you ever escape? What is the cost? 
And if you take risks, then what if they fail? Will you have to return to the start of the trail? Should you have left breadcrumbs to find your way back? It's hard to get out once these questions attack. If only you still had your trusty backpack. You can get so frustrated that you'll start to doubt that she'll ever get anything all figured out. And grind on for miles across weirdish wild space. Headed, I'm sure, to a challenging place. The adulting place for people all adulting. Mortgages and student loans, interest rates and buying homes, doctor's appointments and saving receipts, being mindful of what you eat. From getting a job to starting a career, and although right now it may not seem near, and you're just waiting. Waiting to achieve your dreams. Or waiting to hear if you made the team. Or waiting for the sunshine to beam. You know, for the good lighting. Or waiting perhaps for a long delayed grade, a reply to a snap, or a good Seahawks trade. Or a brand new car with the freshest of slicks. Or the West Seattle Bridge to get fixed. Everyone is waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all the waiting and staying and find the bright spots where the jazz band is playing. With West Side Pride shining, once more you'll ride high. Ready for whatever this world dishes out? Ready because you can defeat your death. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are novels to write and 10Ks to run. And the magical things you can do with your mind can lead you to the success you wish to find. Joy, you'll be as happy as happy can be when things come together so easily. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes the answers won't be clear. No matter how hard you think, they won't appear. Never fear. Oh, scholars, don't despair. With that big brain you got, critical thinking will help you a lot. And if you can't solve it, you're never alone. A friend's never far when you pick up your phone. A phone call or FaceTime can really turn things around. Or use Zoom and spice it up with the background. On you will go through the song and the rain. On you will go through the joy and the pain. On feet or on crutches, a wheelchair or cane. Onward at many an uphill incline, though your body may groan and you've missed every sign. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far. And you'll get past the roadblocks, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact, and remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. You have what it takes. Wildcats can move mountains, your journey awaits. So be you a gamer, a mathlete, or jock, or you've played in six tribute bands at School of Rock. You're off to great places. Today is your day. The mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Commencement addresses typically start by reminiscing on the past four years we spent together as a class. I'll admit it, it was difficult for me to look back on this year positively. We've not had an easy year, and it would be wrong for me to sugarcoat it. So my job today is not to convince you that this year has been great. Instead, I want to remind you that there will always be times of light and times of darkness. All we can do is try to grow stronger from the darkness and look to the light that's to come. Growing from darkness is a narrative we see everywhere. It's because those who are most passionate are the ones who knew great suffering and grew from it. 2020 has been a year of tremendous suffering. This year, we all watched Ahmaud Aubrey take his final steps and George Floyd gasp for his last breath. We can already see the fires of passion that have quite literally been ignited following their deaths. To Ahmaud and George and Brianna and Tony and David and so many more, we will fight for the justice you deserve. To my black classmates who have not just endured suffering in the past few weeks, but in lifetimes of racial injustice, we see your pain and we will fight alongside you. 
I hope that when we look back on 2020, we see the struggles that black Americans endured, but I hope the progress, empathy, and restoration that was birthed from their suffering shines brighter than all of the darkness. I hope that this year, through all of the pain, we've been given a reason to fight. As a community, we fought our own battles this year as well. The Me Too's heard around the world were echoed at our school this fall. We heard the frustrating narrative that women are not innocent until proven guilty, but liars until proven truthful. Some truly incredible women, who I'm proud to call my classmates, used their anger and frustration to fuel the long fight for justice. This year in the world, in our country, and at our school, we must not ignore or diminish the events they have endured. Instead, we must learn lessons from their bravery and stand with survivors until no one else has to say, me too. This year has shown above all that justice is worth fighting for. Although we lost much of our senior year, our compassion for each other and our strength as a community never faltered. During these past few months, lives have been turned upside down, and as the death toll in our country rises, we cannot lean on the ones we love the most unless we do it from six feet apart. It's exhausting, it's frustrating, and most of all, it's lonely. However, I know when we look back on this time, we will remember the compassion. Teddy bears and windows will not erase the lives lost, but they certainly taught us what's important. At the end of this, we will have survived because of compassion for each other. From the frontline workers who are risking their lives to the countless strangers who are staying inside. They taught us that in a world where the daily news seems increasingly discouraging, there is hope. When all of this is over, we will cherish every moment that we spend together. But until then, we will celebrate from afar. So no, this year has not been easy, but these are the moments that define us. We are not the class of COVID-19. We are the class of courage and compassion. Thank you. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end, there's right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Hang them on a shelf in good health and good time. Tattoos of memories and dead skin on trial. For what it's worth, it was worth all the while. It's something unpredictable, but in the end, there's right. I hope you had the time of your life. Good evening, families, teachers, and most importantly, class of 2020. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Anna Dillon, and I am honored to be this year's valedictorian. There are many people who deserve my thanks, but instead of using my five minutes to recite a list, I will keep this short. My first thanks goes out to the staff. 
to the teachers who pushed us to learn when we barely wanted to get out of bed in the morning, who gave up their lunches and after school and free time to help us when we needed it, who were often more than just teachers and listened to us when we had real problems. My second thanks goes out to my family, who suffered through these four years with me as I endlessly asked for math help or assistance on editing my papers, who watched and listened to me stress over tests and assignment and complain about homework, and who believed in me even when I didn't. And finally, a thank you to my classmates who struggled through these four long years with me, who bonded through group chats of hard classes and suffered through group projects with me, who became my friends that always pushed me to do my best. Thank you and congratulations to my classmates who made it through these four years with me. I am forever grateful for everyone who helped me get to where I am today. I know this year didn't go quite as we planned and the coming future still has its uncertainties. It is disappointing to miss out on some of the rites of passages we always assumed we were guaranteed. However, we have much to be grateful for, for our health, for our friends and family, and of course, to be graduating. Life will go on and we will go on to do great things. We are extremely lucky in unlucky circumstances. And it is truly amazing how we, barely legal adults, managed to succeed and finish strong despite a global pandemic. So instead of dwelling on what could have been, look back on all the great things that we have experienced in these years and look forward for all that is yet to come. Looking back, there are many mistakes I both cringe and laugh at. Things that didn't go quite as planned, silly dramas, and friendships lost over stu stupid fights. But in the end, I don't really regret any of it. Both because there is no use in regret, but also because it got me here today. But for every mistake and fight, there are endless good things. Unforgettable dances, leg days with classmates on the first sunny day of spring, lunch runs to Met and PCC, hangouts in the parking lot long after school had finished, football games where we cheered like we were winning, and so much more. No matter what your high school experience was, I hope each and every one of you can take away some positives for these years together. After four years together, I cannot wait to see what the future holds for all of us. Four years of memories and overcoming obstacles and fun that we have gone through together and that have made us who we are today. Whether you go on to college, to join the military, or to enter the work for, workforce, or something else, I am unbelievably proud of each and every one of you, for it is no small feat to be graduating high school. As George Sheehan once said, success means having the courage, the determination, and the will to become the person you are meant to be. And with this in mind, it is my greatest wish that you all take this new beginning as an opportunity to discover your authentic selves and succeed in whatever it is you take on. Thank you for listening, and here's to the class of 2020, celebrating what we have accomplished and all that is yet to come. Hey, Wildcats. Brian Vance, the proud principal here at West Seattle High School. I have the honor and privilege to certify that the West Seattle High School class of 2020 has met all the requirements to graduate from Seattle Public Schools and the state of Washington. There are many thanks to be had uh, for everyone's role in getting us here today to celebrate the class of 2020. Thank you to our staff, to our families, and especially to our graduates for all the hard work. Thank you. I've been working in public schools for my entire professional life and participated in high school graduation ceremonies for the past 25 years. This is by far the most memorable. Most memorable because of you and what you've given to West Seattle High School and because of all the craziness of our current circumstances. We're living through a global pandemic that's changing the way that we operate in the world. And we're living in a country and a world that continues to struggle with inequality and injustice. This is the world that you are living in and this is the world that we will need you to help fix. I listened to a speech by Denzel Washington the other day um, and he had something that really stuck with me as I think about this moment and your role in this moment. He said, quote, if you want something that you've never had, you need to do something you have never done. If you want something that you have never had, you need to do something you have never done. If we want a world where there are cures for deadly diseases and systems set up to combat the spread of those diseases, we'll need to do something that we have never done. If we want a world in which everyone, regardless of their race, ethnicity, income, gender identity, sexual orientation or religion, can live, love and prosper in peace, 
We will need to do something that has never been done. The challenge here is figuring out what we need to do that we have never done. And this is where you come in. We need you, we need your ideas, we need your ideals, your skills, your compassion, and your vision for a better world to help us get there. So as you leave the peninsula, or I guess it's an island now here in West Seattle, ask yourself, what do I want that I have never had? And then figure out what you need to do that you have never done to make that happen. Congratulations, class of 2020. Go Wildcats. On behalf of all seven of the school board directors and with the authority vested in me as your school board president, I accept the students before me as 2020 graduates of West Seattle High School. Congratulations. We are so proud of all that you have accomplished. Richard Acevedo. Yasin Adan. Kara Dean Adan. Fardosa Ahmed. Janate Ali. Juliet Anawalt. Shelby Jessica Lee Anderson. Liam Anderson. Timothy Jack Anderson. Emin Ansari. Devin Ray Asmus. Duyen Ah. Brock Awad. Joe Baletto. Lily Ann Bedell. Jonah Beeman. Ebron Belay. William Benham. Jose Thomas Betancourt. Arwen Blazier. Daniel Bullman. Jalen Boyd. Chloe Brambila. Silas Brown. Jordan Bailey Brownsville. Emily Buchanan. Allison Burke. Blake Burton. Ashlyn Caffeine. Ashley Camarena. Sophia Carnivali. Jackson Carney. Zachary Stewart Carver. Jacob Cash. Karen Casillas. Adam Chin. Zachary Tyler Churchman. Elijah Saichi. Josiah Clark. Ella Claxton. Connor Frederick Concanon. Angel Cortez. Kyla Costales. Dart Craig. Cole Crawl. Jack Crawley. Stefania Cruz. Sophia Cunliffe. 
Bianca Custer. Guido Diarigo. Amy Dow. Devin Darwin. Srijami Das. Kieran Davis. Salome Demerger. Hinari Denevo. Keaton Dickinson. Mackenzie Derrick. Anna Dillon. Zachary Elder. Parker Illingson. Benjamin Ellis. Luke Ellis. Benjamin Ficus. Ella Wing Finkelweaver. Alexis Foster. Layla Fowler. Peyton Benjamin Frampton. Riley Frazier. Alexis Brianna Frias Monje. Carl Friedrich. Rihan Fuad. Veronica Furman. Casey Gage. Rajini Garcia. Athena Garlington. Anthony Ginsberg. Xavier Giomi. Hannah Goldman. Soren Good. Jonah Goodman. Diego Gray. Theodoric Greenleaf. Colby Greminger. Damian Grink. Maria Grossi. Adaya Grunwald. Natalie Grupp. Aiden Garino. Celeste Hagee. Ulysses Hammer. Sarah Harker. Ryan Harper. Matt Harris. Morgan Harris. Hayden Hastings. Rocket Haverland. Lydia Heinrich. Maritza Isabel Hernandez Gallegos. Ben Heron. Seppo Hill Rayner. Denzel Holliman. Alexander Horton. Kevin Jackson, who? Tristan Hike. Melina Luis Iglesias. Erica Igioma. Tate Douglas Ingram. Tarson Ephraim. 
Brooke Lynn Jackson. Owen Jacobs. Abdirahim Khalif Jama. Abdi Jama. Alyssa Eva June Jensen. Asiya Jailani. Yunsa Joe. Evan Johnson. Josiah McKinley Johnson. Tyler Johnston. Jaden Trené Jones. Catherine Jones. Madison Isabel Jordan. Aiden Kelly. Kalel Jordan Kelly. Savi Kenny. Keisha T. Kim. Bonshanati Korn. Shanjun Kim. Madison Kipley. Alden Todd Kirby. Dakia Knight. Sofia Krutikova. Naomi Kuhn. T. Lam. Taylor Lane. Julina Lang. Marie Langer. Gabrielle Laro. Shwai Lavier. Sersha Lawler. Mira Lee. Peyton Elizabeth Leggett. Deja Lewis. Catherine Wheeler Long. Caleb Luce. Isaac Ahmed May. Elijah Markham. Brandon Marks. Brielle Martin. Fiona Rose Martin. Marco Martinez. Monique Martinez. Margaret McLaughlin. Faith McMahon. Mariah McMahon. Finn McMahon Grace. Leong Meng. Nick Messina. Alec Metzelar. Sebastian Meyer. Judah Meyering. Avram Milligan. Fahima Mohammed. Najma Abdirahman Mohammed. Angelo Montoya. Alejandro Jose Morales Verzola. Isaac Morales Verzola. Maya Moreno. Nathan Morgan. 
Kira, Moriarty, Kerry, El Morigi, Amiko, Mukai, Riley Noctree, Jacob Nado, Hana Naguse, Sage Douglas Nelson, Jack Wynn, Kenny Nguyen. Quinn Noon Nguyen. Timothy Min Nguyen. Tom Nguyen. Weather Nguyen. Josephine Nichols. Dylan Niccolo. Svet Nicolò. Kelly Graciela Ochoa Gutama. Hasmig Ohanian. Constantine Olson. Dilara Oster. Emily Michelle Pablo Jose. Rivka Page. Sophia Palmer. Morgan Pelly. Ava Pearson. Claire Peterson. Sadie Phillips. Ellen Peach. Kayla Piggy. Elizabeth Platzner. Dylan Poole. Melody Potratz. Thea Pulido. Ella Quinn. Marissa Rackner. Alex Rangar. Vanessa Raimondo. Laura Reed. Sonia Rhodes. Kaylee Ruiz. Chloe Rushing. Emmanuel Rusom. Yafet Rusom. Quinn Sato. Vladimir Salaritza. Chloe Sarmiento. Kieran Scheidt. Louise Sheely. Aiden Schumacher. Rahel Sabat. Django Sirkinia. Adrian Shaw. Daisy Shepherd. Jinwoo Sim. Nu Mukhtar Siraj. Adriana Sly. Evan Anna Aguilar Smith. Manaya Smith. Michael Smithgall. Michelle Solayanch. 
Shotika Somya. Ian Sun. Jamie Spot. Casey Starr. Zoe and Steers. Joel Steppen. Ellie Cole Strauss. Sophia Lynn Strauss. Nopawut Sukum. Michael Sullivan. Max Sonseri. Nathaniel Tangerman. Kiara Taylor. Alisa Cherko. Jason Toft. August Tolzman. Bak Tuan Tran. Brittany Tran. Long Tran. Benjamin Trigg. Nikosi Trotter. Ben Trowbridge. Adal Sugai. Krista Ursino. Geraldine Valenzuela. Ava Van Ornum. Anya Vanderheide. Eleanor Van. Paula Siwa Vow. DJ Volger. Holden Wade. Lauren Walker. Caitlin Ward. Vincent Watson. Aiden West. Connor Wiggins. Jordan Wong. Alexander Wood. Addison Wright. Nathaniel Wetherich. Anna Wyman. Zachary Yaye. Ashley Young. Please join me in moving our tassel from the right side to the left side that we have indeed graduated from West Seattle High School. Um, would the class of 2020 please join us in reciting our alma mater? West Side High, our alma mater, we stand true to thee. All our love and fond devotion will remain with thee. Win or lose, we still stand by thee, firm and loyal too. Firm and loyal too. West Side High, our alma mater, hail all hail to thee.